Jennifer Lopez, who stole hearts with her role as the indomitable Selena in the biographical film Selena, is no stranger to the spotlight. But recently, she's been caught up in a whirlwind of rumors about a supposed feud. Is there more to the story than meets the eye? Watch this video as we uncover the complete story of Jennifer Lopez's rise to fame and the hidden details of her dramatic life. Before we get into the revelations, let's take a closer look at Jennifer Lopez's early life and the experiences that shaped the woman we all came to know. Jennifer was born in 1970 in the Bronx, New York, to Puerto Rican parents. Growing up, she was surrounded by music and creativity, taking dance lessons from age five. Despite her parents' hope for a traditional career, Jennifer chose to pursue her passion for entertainment. After high school, Jennifer quit independently, living in dance studios and taking any performance jobs she could find. Her determination paid off when she landed a role as a dancer on the TV show In Living Color in 1990. This steady gig provided valuable experience and industry connections. Over the next few years, Jennifer took on small acting roles in TV shows and movies. But it was her portrayal of singer Selena in the 1997 biopic that truly launched her to stardom. Jennifer's vibrant performance captured Selena's spirit and showcased her talents, earning her widespread praise in a Golden Globe nomination. Who could have guessed that a girl from the Bronx would become a global superstar? Jennifer's journey in the entertainment industry began with her first film appearance in the small role of Myra in My Little Girl in 1986. Her first big break came in 1988, when she landed a steady acting role in a live stage production called Golden Musicals of Broadway, which took her on a five-month European tour. After returning from Europe, she toured Japan in a production called Synchronicity, showcasing her diverse talents. Back in the United States, Jennifer worked tirelessly, taking on dancing and modeling gigs. She appeared in music videos and commercials, steadily building her reputation. Her breakthrough moment came in 1990, when she secured a job as a fly girl in the Fox television comedy show In Living Color. Produced by Keenan Ivory Wayans and choreographed by Rosie Perez, this role highlighted her dancing prowess and provided her with national exposure. Was this the moment she had been working so hard for? In 1991, Jennifer left In Living Color to pursue new opportunities. She landed a role in a television pilot for a series called South Central, but the show was short-lived. However, this did not deter her. She went on to play Melinda Lopez in a CBS series called Second Chances, which starred Connie Selica. Despite the show only lasting one season, her character made an appearance in a spin-off series called Malibu Road. More roles that showcased her versatility and talent marked Jennifer's early career. She continued to push boundaries, appearing as a nurse in the made-for-television movie Nurses on the Line, The Crash of Flight 7. During the winter holidays of 1991-92 and 92-93, she graced the stage in the live production of Charles Dickens's A Christmas Carol at the McCarter Theory in Princeton, New Jersey. Over the next few years, Jennifer took on small acting roles in TV shows and movies, but it was her portrayal of singer Selena in the 1997 biopic that truly launched her to stardom. Jennifer's vibrant performance captured Selena's spirit and showed off her talents as a dancer and performer. The role earned Jennifer widespread praise and a Golden Globe nomination. Riding the wave of success from Selena, Jennifer began to expand her career in new directions. She took on more prominent film roles, starring alongside George Clooney in Out of Sight. At the same time, inspired by her experience playing Selena, Jennifer decided to pursue her musical ambitions. In 1999, Jennifer released her debut album, On the Six. The album was a blend of pop and R&B, with Latin influences, showing Jennifer's background in diverse musical tastes. Her first single, If You Had My Love, became a massive hit, spending weeks at the top of the charts. The album's success established Jennifer as a true triple threat, actress, dancer, and now singer. Could this level of success have been possible without such versatility? Over the next decade, Jennifer continued to build her career across multiple industries. She starred in romantic comedies like The Wedding Planner and Made in Manhattan that showed off her charm and relatability. She released more hit albums and singles, solidifying her place as a pop star. Jennifer also began to expand into fashion and fragrances, leveraging her fame and style icon status. Was there anything Jennifer couldn't do? 
By the mid-2000s, she had become one of the biggest stars in the world. She was a fixture on magazine covers and red carpets. As Jennifer's fame grew, so did interest in her personal life. Her high-profile relationships became a source of intense media scrutiny. Jennifer dated hip-hop mogul Sean Combs in the late 90s, a relationship that ended amid legal troubles. She then had a brief marriage to backup dancer Chris Judd. But it was Jennifer's relationship with actor Ben Affleck that truly captured the public's imagination. Dubbed Benifer by the press, the couple became a media sensation. Their lavish lifestyle and public displays of affection were constant tabloid fodder. Although their engagement was called off in 2004, they rekindled their relationship in 2021, culminating in a second engagement and marriage in 2022. Following the split from Affleck, Jennifer married singer Mark Anthony. The couple welcomed twins in 2008 and seemed to find a period of stability. Jennifer took some time away from the spotlight to focus on motherhood. However, she and Anthony announced their separation in 2011 and later divorced. Throughout these ups and downs, Jennifer worked to maintain some boundaries around her personal life. She became more guarded in interviews, choosing to focus on her work rather than romantic drama. But can anyone truly keep their private life private when the world is watching? In the 2010s, Jennifer experienced something of a career renaissance. She became a judge on American Idol, introducing her to a new generation of fans. She launched a successful Las Vegas residency show that showcased her talents as a live performer. Jennifer also continued to release new music and take on film roles that challenged her as an actress. However, with this new wave of success came fresh challenges. As Jennifer entered her 50s, she faced ageist attitudes in the entertainment industry. Some questioned whether she could maintain her image as a sexy pop star. Jennifer responded by doubling down on her dedication to fitness and refusing to be limited by societal expectations. Jennifer also began to face more scrutiny of her authentic Bronx roots. Some accused her of playing up her background for publicity or question the sincerity of her connection to her hometown. Jennifer Lopez's journey has not been without its share of controversies. One of the significant controversies arose in 2021 when Jennifer attempted to launch a viral challenge tied to her song Love Don't Cost a Thing. The challenge involved throwing expensive items onto a beach, which was met with backlash given the economic struggles many faced during the pandemic. Critics viewed this as tone-deaf and insensitive. This begs the question, is any publicity really good publicity? In addition to this, Jennifer faced criticism for what some perceived as creative narcissism in her biographical content. Critics argued that her documentary was excessively focused on her struggles and achievements, leading to accusations of self-indulgence. Another controversy emerged from a 1998 interview where Jennifer made critical remarks about other actresses like Salma Hayek, Cameron Diaz, and Gwyneth Paltrow. These comments resurfaced and led to accusations of arrogance and unkindness. Jennifer later apologized, claiming her words were taken out of context and that she regretted her remarks. One of the most recent feuds involved actress and comedian Ayo Edebiri. In 2020, Edebiri made derogatory comments about Jennifer's music career on a podcast, referring to it as a scam. This comment was brought to light when Edebiri and Jennifer appeared together on a Saturday Night Live in February 2024. The situation became tense when Edebiri's past comments resurfaced just before their joint appearance. Edebiri addressed her remarks during the SNL episode, acknowledging the inappropriateness of her comments and the need for more thoughtful online behavior. She apologized publicly, and Jennifer responded graciously, revealing that Edebiri had apologized in person and expressed genuine remorse. Wouldn't we all benefit from more open, honest conversations about our mistakes? As Jennifer moves into the next phase of her career, she's focused on growth and new creative challenges. She's taking on more producing roles, working to create opportunities for other Latinx artists in Hollywood. Jennifer is also exploring more dramatic acting roles that push her out of her comfort zone. 
Musically, Jennifer continues to evolve her sound while staying true to her roots. She's collaborating with younger artists and incorporating new genres, but always with a nod to the Latin influences that have shaped her style. Now, over to you. Do you believe Jennifer's Bronx roots are authentic, or she's playing them up for publicity? Share your opinions in the comments below. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more insights on your favorite celebrities.